Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing this super smoky diffused fall look. It's super warm, super red, and I love it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my eyes. First, I am going to prime my lids with the NARS Pro Prime, uh, and then I'm going to rub that all through, not rub through, rub it in, and get started with the shadow. First shadow I'm going to use is, of course, Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. This isn't going to make that much of a difference. It's not going to add too much color, but it's going to add as my transition color just to help with the diffusion because like I said it's going to be super it's going to be a super diffused uh, makeup look and I want it to look super blended and just super like ombre like so that's going to go in as my transition color and then I'm going to add Ulta uh, matte eyeshadow in Sable this I'm adding just straight into the crease to add a little bit more depth and just deepen it up just a little bit. That way we really, we, we really get that dark to light kind of diffusion. Then after that is blended together, I am going to pop Makeup Geek Bitten on my lid. This is kind of like a medium uh, red-brown. Super warm, super fall-like. I'm going to pop that just on the lid. And then for the blending, I'm going to really blend up into the crease. That way, like I said, it's super, super diffused. I'm going to blend that for a long time, but after it's completely blended, I'm going to add another Makeup Geek shadow, and it is Sensuous. It is a darker, I would say, maybe a little bit more purple version of Bitten, but I am taking that only on the lid, not into the crease. And as you can see, it is super, uh, like, smoky and diffused. Next, I am going to work on my liner. Now, I am using the NYX Liquid Liner, I believe. No, it's not NYX. It's NYC. It's NYC Liquid Liner, um, which everyone raves about, and I can now say that I actually absolutely love um, I'm using this. I wasn't totally sure if I was going to wing it out uh, because I'm still fairly new uh, with the NYC liner and I wasn't totally confident in doing a wing on camera without any tape or anything, but I decided to bite the bullet and do it anyways and it actually turned out really well. When I was doing my second eye, I actually messed up a little bit. I made it too thick, which, you know, can happen. So I went and thickened up the other eye, but then they turned out really nicely. After I do my liner, I am going to curl my lashes. Now, I curl my lashes about five times on each eye, just because I'm super anal and I really want them curled, as curled as possible. So I'm really really good about doing that uh, like a million times almost and then for my mascara i am going to use my Too faced better than sex this mascara is pretty good i mean it does the job for the most part it keeps everything separated super volumized and holds the majority of my curl all day so that's good for me um and i like i like the formula all together I wasn't really sure if I wanted to wear lashes or not. Didn't know if I wanted to glam it up that much. Uh, in the end, I decided not to. Uh, so, yeah. So, <laughs> next I am going to uh, do my face. Uh, before I start my foundation, I am going to try out the Becca Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Stuff. So I'm going to put that on the majority of my face. <laughs> I squared out a little bit too much, and I wasn't totally sure I wanted to put it all over, but I kind of did. I knew I wanted to strobe, like heavily strobe today, but I wasn't totally sure. So I just put it all over my face. 
I am using a mix of foundations. I'm pretty sure it is the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear and the L'Oreal True Lumi uh, foundation. Mixing those two just to lighten it up because I'm in between tans at the moment. And I will dot that all over my face and then work that in with my Real Techniques brush. So then it's time to do my brows. I am using the NYX brow pencil. It's not the actual like pencil pencil one. It's kind of like a crayon. I I can explain it like that. Um I, since this brush doesn't really have a spoolie, it only has like a little brush weird thing, I'm going to use a regular spoolie and spool through my brows first, and then I'm going to go in with the actual brow product. Uh, these, I'm just shaping my brows, like I'm filling in the beginning of my brow and then going at the end and creating the shape I want, and if I need to fill in the ends then I will do that. After my brows I'm going to further strobe. I am using the Benefit What's Up to highlight the areas that the sun would naturally hit my face and then I am going to powder uh, my t-zone. I don't want to powder my whole face I just want to powder the areas that might get a little oily I'm not oily, I have uh, more normal to dry skin, so uh, an oil isn't really a problem for me, but just because I wanted to look kind of matte because I put all of that opal Becca <laughs> shimmering skin perfector on, I wanted to matte it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to contour just my nose. I'm not really into contouring my whole face. These days, it's usually just my nose, and I contour my nose every day. Um, and then, I forgot to do my concealer, of course, before I powdered anything on my face. So I'm going to put the concealer in a little tiny triangle, and then pat that in with the Real Techniques like, large concealer brush. I've been doing this lately, just so I don't have to really use my finger. And I feel like the brush works, so I'm just kind of taking the brush and patting the concealer in instead of like mat or dragging and moving it around. Uh, and I think it works pretty well. So while I like, while I let my concealer set just a little bit, I am going to set my brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then once I'm doing done doing that, I'm going to pull out my Elf High Definition Powder and take my little Real Techniques contour brush, even though I don't use it for contouring because I think it fits my under eye shape uh, wonderfully. So I will coat and completely saturate my brush in um, the powder and then knock out my finger, um, get my finger to under my eye to knock out just a little bit of those uh, concealer creases in case they have creased. Uh, work that out and then go in with the brush and kind of quote unquote bake the powder under my eyes. I do that on both eyes and then I'll go in with the Sigma like big tapered face brush thing and sweep away sweep away the rest of the powder. After my concealer is done, I am going to apply my blush. I am using a angled face brush and using my Becca blush in Damselfly. I love this blush. Uh, to follow up and finish my strobing process, I am going to use uh, my favorite highlighter of life, which is Champagne Pop. And I am applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, the little tip of my nose, not the whole bridge, um, above my eyebrows, and on my cupid's bow. And then it is time to finish off the eyes. I believe I am using a duo of Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and Bitten. I think I'm mixing them together on like a little flat definer brush and then putting those on my lower lash line. Once I define my lower lash line, I am going to uh, blend that out with 
Ulta's Sable, I believe. I believe I used the Sable to blend it out. And then I'm going to pop mascara on my bottom lashes. Ooh, wait, there's a twist. <laughs> uh, before I apply bottom lashes, bottom mascara to my lashes, <laughs> I am going to apply L'Oreal Still Kiss Me Liner in black to my waterline. And then once the face is done, it is time to do the lips. So I'm going to use Ulta's like retractable lip liner thing in Nude, I believe it's called. Uh, and then go on after that with the Elf's uh, Matte Lip Crayon thing. Lip, I don't know. It's a matte lipstick in the color Nude. And then go over that with the NYX uh, Intense Butter Gloss. Or is it just butter gloss? It's just the butter gloss in Fortune Cookie. And then that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to tag me in any pictures if you recreate this look. Make sure if you like this look, you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to, to subscribe. And I will talk to you uh, next Saturday. Bye. So today I'm doing my first installment of Pet Peeves. Uh, now, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this every uh, or for the next few uh, Wednesdays, but I will be doing them. I don't know when I'll be doing them.